An Australian zookeeper took home monkeys, pandas, and a tiger in order to keep them safe from bushfires. Here's a summary of the article. An Australian zoo was able to save all of its animals facing threat of bushfires thanks to a zookeeper who sheltered monkeys, pandas, and even a tiger in his home. The Mogo Wildlife Park is located along the south coast of New South Wales, Australia and is just 10 minutes from Batemans Bay, a popular tourist area that has been severely impacted by bushfires. Chad Staples, director of the zoo, told the Australian Broadcasting Company that zookeepers were well prepared to protect the animals as bushfires broke out in the region over New Year's Eve. Any species of animal that was small enough, or was in an area we couldn't protect, we caught up, he told the ABC. Right now in my house there's animals of all descriptions in all the different rooms with different pet packs so that they're safe and protected, Staples told the ABC that zookeepers felt it was safer to keep larger and more dangerous animals including lions and gorillas in their night enclosures where they would feel more comfortable as bushfires raged around them. We've been sitting in a plume of smoke for weeks now, so it wasn't like today set that off worse. But yes, there were times that it got a bit tense, he told the ABC. The zoo tweeted out photos from the bushfires on Tuesday, which showed smoke billowing out near the park grounds. He thanked his staff for working tirelessly to protect the animals because they love them like their own family. This post received a score of 13,698, with an upvote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. That would have been some interesting car rides. It's like that old problem with the guy crossing the river with a boat, that can only fit two of the fox, chickens, and corn. What type of corn? European or African? European corn would be the most likely, since African corn doesn't migrate this far up north. What if it was carried by a swallow? Are you suggesting a swallow has the carrying capacity for a can of corn? An African swallow? Well it would depend on the airspeed velocity of an African swallow carrying a can of corn. This was at Mogo Zoo in regional NSW. Their conservation work with white tigers is world regarded. They are a lovely group of people who break their backs for that place and in the past weeks have proved they would put their lives on the line for the animals that they care for. Yeah and their government does literally nothing. The people on the front lines is a civilian-led volunteer fire service. Just yesterday the government finally decided to use the defense forces after about two months of bushfires spreading and the worst reported yet to come. Why the fuck do they even pay taxes? That too in a country with a budget surplus apparently. What a fucking joke. Our government is too busy scratching their balls to assist the people. But at least the cricket is on tomorrow. S. Have Aussies become more cricket crazy over the years? Why or why not? Same as ever really. People that like cricket like cricket. People that don't think it's the worst invention ever. Scott Morrison keeps talking about cricket because he needs to appeal to the common man. So he talks about sport too much. And he goes to games and runs the drinks out. Basic PR job. Meanwhile when he goes to meet bushfire victims he grabs their hands to force a photo up and runs away when they ask for help, literally turns his back on them as they break down in tears and walks off. Greater than feel more comfortable as bushfires raged around them. Yeah man, because my best naps are had when world-ending apocalypse fires rage all around me. When the options are hide in the fireproof night den or be outside where you can see the fire, the night den counts as more comfortable. The roads were cut off, the animals couldn't be evacuated. That's not typically a job where you bring your work home with you. Yep, I had the good fortune of working at a zoo for a year when I was young. The only thing I took home with me was the odor. Sir, do you know why I pulled you over? Obviously, it's because the panda is half black. Asians taking our bears jobs. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.